day that the Lord has made. We shall rejoice and be glad in it. Hallelujah, hallelujah. To God be the glory for all the good things He's done in our lives. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Love you. Dear Father, thank you for this opportunity to worship. Praise your holy name. You said with two or three, God in your name, you've been in the midst of them and they're invited to see the presence of the Holy Spirit. Lead us and guide us in all truth. Move us out of the way that the Holy Spirit have his way. And Father, we pray, Lord, that this message, this study, this discussion, this lifting up your name uh, will reach those who you want to be reached, to touch those that you want to touch. And Father, make us more stronger, more reliable, more anointing to do that which is acceptable in your sight. Father, we lift up Ukraine. Father, we pray in the name of Jesus, glory that God send the Russians back home. Father, we pray that they don't use any weapons of mass destruction. We pray, Heavenly Father, that the countries and the nations all get together and say that no further. We pray not only for Ukraine, but any other country that have been attacked and abused by anybody. I don't care whether it's our country or somebody else. We pray, Lord, that we just get those nations that try to explore, especially places in Africa and in other places. Lord, we ask, Lord, just give them wisdom. Give them freedom and let them seek your face. In Jesus' name, amen. Amen, amen. You know, because that, that is a... Uh, that is a concern too, you know, about there's a lot of nations that are being ex have been and being exploited. But with that in mind, I wanted to talk about uh, a continuation of uh what shall you you we we read last week we said what profit a man to gain the whole world and loses his soul. Uh, what I wanted to carry on is what profits a man or what would a man give in exchange for his soul? Remember, that was the next verse right under it. What, yeah. what, what does a person, what shall a man give in exchange for his soul? Uh, one of my buddies uh, let you know, he, he, uh, he, got, he, he tried to draw me into a conversation about you can't sell your soul uh to the devil and i told him i said well you know the devil's not into exchange of money if that's what you're trying to say <laughs> but the Bi i did tell him i said the bible that scripture we just looked at what shall a man give an exchange for his soul means some kind of transaction right that that's 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 what that's saying you know i said so because he said we're all souls belong to god and and, and uh I told him that what Christ said that there's some people whose souls will could could go to hell. You know, matter of fact, I'm covering that chapter today. We won't get to all of it. Where he was saying it's better to pluck your eye out. Remember those scriptures that did, did it go into life, go into life maimed, and to 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 go your soul into hell. Mm -hmm. So I'm, I'm not sure. The statement says all things belong to God. But God gives a choice for people to choose, you know? Yeah. So, so I told him, I said, exchange, give an exchange for your soul means some kind of transaction. With that in mind, though, I was, uh, you know, I've been taking and looking at now and, and, and you know, I, I think I may have seen some of the videos talking about the, uh, the history of uh from colonial days all the way up to 2022 stuff that's going over ukraine and what what was the question of discussion is when we talked about and looked at the some of the past negative behaviors of people because somebody brought up in a video on tiktok or something says the people go to church on sunday it didn't go to a lynching uh, as if it was a sport event after church service. And what I want to ask you to have bring me discuss is 
because it could ease up in it ease of this modern day too how can we let people uh just believe that they can do atrocities and it says okay you know what i mean and say you're a christian you know i told you the bible said a tree is known by its fruit but the question is what did so many people are doing in, in ignorance or not uh i you, you saw the hearing this week right With, uh I, I really didn't why i just saw the clips. clips of it yeah, yeah. And you saw the stupidity of it then. Those clips show the stu stupidity, right? The abuse of it is what yeah. I saw. Yeah. I, it wasn't it wasn't nothing stupid about what was done in there because everything that was done in there was purposed. Purposely done. It yeah. Was, it was it was prepared and 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 done on purpose. Uh so uh, <laughs> I saw the the abuse of it. I saw the the misuse of what that was for, and uh, it was something else, right? I mean, it, it, it was it was it wasn't a confirmation, right? It was, it, that that was that was just a a a stage used inappropriately for for the most part to uh find sound bites and uh, and to make false statements and to give reason for uh abusing the system that would that it was prepared for but anyway right well, like i say it all the time don't expect anything different it is it, just the way it is all right it, it is what it is right and the thing is that the and, and that's what we want to talk about what it is is the 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 part i'm looking at is because i know the person with these some of these people was playing toward to a base right i think there's no question about it it was playing toward a base of people who wanted that you know what i mean they they and and even uh I was listening to, it came out on, on uh, live yesterday. There was a, 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 a Trump rally in uh, Georgia yesterday. Mm -hmm. And I just briefly went past it. I was, I was going through, scrolling through some stuff. And do you remember the uh, movie Patton? Patton? Patton. General Patton. Uh -huh. About the general? Yeah, General Patton. Is this the one when he walks out on the stage? Yes. In yeah. the beginning? Yeah. I, I vaguely remember that. Well, you know the thing about it, he was talking about we're gonna get the enemy, we're gonna grab him, we ain't gonna let him go, we're gonna use his guts to grease our treads, and you know what I mean? He we 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 mm. gonna we're gonna we're gonna we're gonna we're gonna whip them, right? We don't mm -hmm. treat, we going forward. And it was that their speech, rightfully so for Patton, was talking about fighting the Germans in combat, right? That that's that's what his speech was about, right? Mm -hmm. That speech was given at the rally yesterday. And I was mm -hmm. looking at it and I was like, because you had some people cheering about what he was saying about the 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 blood the glow the blood the the blood and stuff and it tied into a text recently found with uh the supreme court justice thomas wife where she when they when they subpoena his uh text she had texted him saying and listen to these words what i'm saying this is war and there's no rules in war and she was talking about trying to get the you know election or uh, turned over and and i was thinking i was like for for clarence thomas wife. Yeah. yeah clarence thomas yeah justice thomas his wife though <laughs> i think his wife named jenny but it was it was 
and then I, then I, you know, obviously I was listening to some other videos about the Black Wall Street and what happened in Florida, Rosewood or something. And the people who believe that they're professed they're Christians, because that's what I'm really getting down to now, right? Is, is are we, either, either the message is being lost, not understood or purposely used as a cover for those who say they're Christians. Um, I'll give you one more example, not politics, but just talking about life, where people get into relationships, they turned out wrong, and now they become bitter uh, with their perspective of life and their perspective with Christ. I mean, there's, I think you agree that some people have left the church because they were offended either by the church or, I mean, ministry, excuse me, I'm going to say the church, by ministry or in a relationship. So they look at life, they look at relationships, and they look at it and say, I ain't going to be nice no more. I don't, I'm tired of being nice. And, and which would give the impression, this is this is important. They give the impression that I'm gonna turn away from Christ because being nice, people took advantage of me. People, you know, use me. Uh, and they equate that with Christianity. And well, what I want to be able to talk about today is we don't we want i want to make sure we get this gospel out and let people understand when we say love one another we're not talking about uh letting people do what they want to you you know at least not that's not what i'm talking about and you can't do here's the biggest piece i see you can't you can't have you can't have it both ways in this world, trying to do it the world's way, right? Mm -hmm. Christ's way at the same time. What I mean, you know, like fornication, right? You, that, that's a good start, right? You go into a relationship and then you do that relationship where you do intimacy, you know, with, with in that relationship. And then the person cheats on you or just break up with you and then all of a sudden now you believe you want to you want to believe that your christianity your being nice uh wasn't working does that does that does, does it can't really what i'm saying is they're thinking because they did it the world's way but because they believe in christ and things didn't work out they believe because of their personality of being nice, being good, that that was the reason for the relationship to go bad. So they move away from Christ and say, I'm going to be more bitter, more, uh, you know, they look at life a little different than looking at it from the kingdom perspective. <coughs> and, and, I, and I really want people to understand what you like to say, a Hevidian. A Hevidian is a way of life where we're not endorsing bad behavior, but we're not going to give bad behavior back to bad behavior. I mean, that's not our, that's not our charter, is it? No, not at all. No. And, but, no but, I mean, but we do try to reach people where they are you know you you can't come into you you can't go into the ghetto talking all pompous right and 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 expect to get some ears and you can't go into a high society talking ghetto you know and with ebonics or or 
or high, whatever, or, or extremely uh, honky tonk, and expect to get there either. You know what I'm saying? Well, well I think so. I think, so if if, if want, that's what you're talking about, I want I want you to tailor that a little bit. I, what I'm saying is, I can see the language and behavior, but that is still mix it in with the gospel, right? Does the gospel even, even it? so? But you you still have to be relatable. Even Paul said he became all things just to reach them. Okay, you know. So it, it, there, there is a, a personal level that you have to have that relates to these people that you can communicate. You know, he often said he didn't come with, with you know, lofty words and such. You know, it's, it's, it's just been made simple to, to hear and to understand for, for the, each individual or group of people. Right. Um, you know, we're even taught in the military, you know, know your audience. You know, know who know who you're speaking to, so that you can form your converse, conversation uh, appropriately. But uh, bind that bind that door still with me. Paul said, "I became for those under the law. I operate like I'm on, not under the law, and those who are under the law, I operate it. You know, with the perspective of those people under the law. But he's never stopped doing, you know, preaching the gospel, right? Yeah." So, yeah. So, I agree. I agree with you. Uh, with saying, you know, you relate to the people where they are. You don't come in. First of all, you don't come in legalistic because that's not what Christianity is about, right? No, no, it's you true. don't. You, so you, you, you definitely don't come in condemning anybody for what they're doing because the Bible also says such were some of you, and such were some of you, right? And so the, it is the love that draws people in. It is, it is the, the testimony, the, the, the realness of the person in relating to the individual. And, and, and that is what, what draws it in. It is exposing the God in you, not the self in you. Not the self in you. And with that in mind, all those people from relationship to, uh, you know, from a political act activist to people who did the atrocities in the past, that means our message wasn't getting through, right? I mean, if they came from, and let's just you know, to go back to a little bit of history about the atrocities and stuff that occurred, or even today when you're talking about hate, hating somebody because of color of skin, hating somebody because they're orientation or whatever where uh, is our message getting through as far as how we approach all those things in life do we you know how's the message going through how do you how do you go from sitting in the pews to cursing somebody out beating somebody up uh lying to somebody, you know how, uh, where, for example, where a person will accuse, remember that guy was in the in the, in the park and, the, and this, this white lady was in the park, the dog was not on the leash. And, yeah, I know what you're talking about. It's, it's like, where did, and I bet you, I, unless you think otherwise, I, I can bet you that person, the Karen, we call her Karen, was a church goer. I can, I mean, um, I could be wrong. I don't. I don't know. But did, I don't know. But but she what? she she wasn't church in that that moment. Exactly. It, it it it. And if she was, it 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 boils down to the same thing as any individual because the brother could have could have acted out just yeah. as as bad. Exactly. You know, uh, out of character. Right. But what I will say is. Bottom line, it's, the difference is walking in the spirit and walking in the flesh. Yes. Bottom line. Right. Bottom line. And, and because when you're walking in the flesh, you are almost 100% bound to pleasing the flesh. The flesh. You're appealing to the flesh. Yes. And, and, and so 
whatever your default is, your uh-huh. nature, default nature is, yeah. it's going to uh, come to the forefront. Yeah. Uh, that's-